Hi everyone, this is Manas, your friend and tutor. And in today's video, we'll try to learn how the parallel axis theorem can be applied to find the moment of inertia of any given cross-sectional area. So to begin, I would like to tell you something or I would like to remind you something what we already know. Um, if you have a rectangle, something of this sort, let's say that the rectangle's maximum width is B and this depth is, let's say, D. Okay, for such a rectangle, the centroidal xx or the moment of inertia about centroidal xx is equal to bd cube over 12 and the moment of inertia of this very rectangle with respect to this centroidal yy is equal to db cube over 12. This is something that we already know and what we wish to calculate is the moment of inertia of this rectangle with respect to axis ab that is this one and we also would like to know the moment of inertia of this very rectangle about this axis cd. Well, how can these two moment of inertia be worked out? And this is where parallel axis theorem comes in very handy. Now, first of all, let me read this theorem. This is going to be very important. Listen to this very, very carefully. So moment of inertia of an area with respect to any axis, that is AB, any axis in its plane is equal to the moment of inertia of the area, that is this BD area, with respect to a parallel centroidal axis. Okay. A parallel centroidal axis this is this is an extremely important part of this description plus the product of area okay that's BD and the square of the distance between the two axes now guys what we want to do is we want to find the moment of inertia about axis AB you can say so by just observing this rectangle you can say that the centroid will be somewhere here what we'll do right now is that we'll make a line which is going to be absolutely parallel to this AB, something like this. And let's call this X, X. So the moment of inertia about AB is equal to moment of inertia of this rectangle, okay, about a line or axis parallel to this AB, that is this XX, IG, XX, whose value is BD cube by 12 plus area, that is BD, multiplied by the distance between the two parallel lines that is this this is the distance I'm talking about that's why okay a into y square in the same manner if I were to calculate the value of this moment of inertia with respect to CD well that can be achieved so what you need to do is you need to draw a line parallel to this CD passing from the centroid something like this and let's call this y y and it's going to be equal to i g y y plus again the area it's bd multiplied by the distance between these two lines these two parallel lines and that is essentially what you call x x square that's it well now i'm pretty much sure that you guys will be able to apply the parallel axis theorem to find the moment of inertia of any given cross-sectional area with respect to any axis so guys that was all for today if you have got any doubt or query to write them down in the comment section below i'll see you in the next video until then it's a wrap this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep learning thank you